Second conditional. What is another way of saying eating everything is going to make me fat? If I ate everything, I'd get fat. This is what we call the second conditional. The main function of the second conditional is to talk about hypothetical or imaginary situations in the present or future and their consequences. This is Ted. Ted's poor and lives in a small house. He wishes he was rich so he can buy a big house. How can he say this using the second conditional? If I were rich, I'd buy a big house. Notice how we used were for the pronoun I. That's because for second conditionals, we use were for all pronouns after the word if in the condition clause, including I, he, she, and it. However, we can also use was in informal language, especially informal speech. In this situation, Ted is using the second conditional to express his desires, whereas in the previous example, the boy did not want to eat everything. However, both are hypothetical or imaginary situations, which are not true. A third function of the second conditional is to give advice. However, for short, we can just say the result or consequence clause. We can use could instead of would. Could means would be able to. Let's give this a try. James has a crush on Sophia. He wants to ask her out on a date, but he can't because Sophia can't speak English and James can't speak Greek. So James says, if I spoke Greek, I could ask Sophia out. In this sentence, instead of saying, I would be able to ask Sophia out, James says, I could ask Sophia out. We can also use if only to say that we want things to be different. It has the same meaning as I wish, but it has a stronger emotion. For example, if only I were rich, I'd buy a big house. If only I spoke Greek, I'd ask Sophia out. However, we often say this without the result or consequence clause. For example, if only I were rich, if only I spoke Greek. However, we don't use if only for giving advice. We only use it to express desires. Let's have a look at another example. Sarah wants to go swimming, but it's raining. Is Sarah talking about the past, present, or future? She's talking about the present. Is it raining now? Yes, it is. Is Sarah swimming now? No, she isn't. Does Sarah want to go swimming? Yes, she does. The form of the second conditional is condition clause, comma, plus result or consequence clause. 
The condition clause is if or unless plus past simple, and the result or consequence clause is would or wouldn't plus verb in the base form. For example, if I ate everything, comma, I'd get fat. If I were you, comma, I'd buy a new phone. We can also switch the positions of the clauses. The form is result or consequence clause plus condition clause. Notice that there is no comma when the clause positions are switched. For example, I'd get fat if I ate everything. I'd buy a new phone if I were you. So to summarize, we use the second conditional to talk about hypothetical or imaginary situations in the present or future and their consequences, to express desires and to give advice. If you've enjoyed our video, please visit our website at umanzu.com for more videos and subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the subscribe button and like, comment and share our videos. And make sure you tell your friends and colleagues about Umonzu.